how to create a pod in Kubernetes or OpenShift with Ansible, I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about Ansible module K8S. The full name is kubernetes.core.k8s, which means that is part of a collection or module of Ansible to interact with Kubernetes and Red Hat OpenShift clusters. It manages Kubernetes K8s object. Parameter of K8s module there is a long list of parameters. Let me summarize the most used. Most of parameters are very generic and allow you to combine for many use cases. The name and namespace specify object name and or the object namespace. They are useful to create, delete or discover an object without providing a full resource definition. The API version parameter specify the Kubernetes API version. Default is v1 for version 1. The state, like other modules, determine if an object should be created, present, updated, patched option or deleted, absent option. The definition parameter allow you to provide a valid YAML spec definition, list, string or dictionary for an object to create or update. But I prefer to use the SRC parameter to specify a YAML definition providing a path to a file containing a valid YAML definition of an object or objects to create or update. Demo time. I'm going to show you how to create a Kubernetes or OpenShift pod with Ansible Playbook. Specifically, we are going to create the Nginx pod inside the example project. Wait a minute, what is a pod? A pod are the smallest deployable unit of computing that you can create and manage in a Kubernetes cluster. And basically they are a group of one or more containers, shared uh, network resources and specification. Here you can find more information on the official kubernetes.io project as well also some example and code and I think it's a great resource to take a look. I really recommend it. Back on business, let me start with a standard POD definition. So API version v1. Uh, let me specify also the kind must be pod. Metadata. So the name of this pod is uh, nginx. Now let's move on with a spec definition. The container that we are going to spin up, only one named nginx, and uh, let me use the image nginx colon and let me specify a tag, for example 1.21.6. I can use also latest or other generic way. And let me expose the ports, container ports 80. is a web server, isn't it? And that's it. This is the basic pod definition that we could specify. Feel free to complicate and add whatever you need for your use case, but this is the very basic definition.
Wait a minute. What is a pod? A pod are the smallest deployable unit of computing that you can create and manage in a Kubernetes cluster. And basically they are a group of one or more containers, shared uh, network resources and specification. Here you can find more information on the official kubernetes.io project, as well as some example and code, and I think it's a great resource to take a look. I really recommend it. Back on business, let's move on to the meaty part. In my editor, I'm going to share with you my Ansible playbook to deploy a POD in Kubernetes. So let's start our play with a name KATS demo, and I would like to execute this code on OS localhost, so the running machine, and I'm going to skip the uh, system information, so gather facts, false, and because it's a local machine, connection local. Let me define also variable my project example. This is the namespace where I would like to create the POD, so let me parameterize. On the task list, only one task create K8S POD using Kubernetes.core dot k8s only few parameters are needed so basically the source file is my yaml file definition in my case my pod i'm going to target namespace this is the my project name so let me use my variable and uh, the state must be present and that's it Done! I'm able to create a pod in my project and the best way is that uh, my project is a variable, so if I need uh, this POD in another project, I need only to edit uh, the project name and run again the code. You've this is great uh, code reuse. And now probably you are curious. Let's move on to the terminal. Before moving to the terminal, probably some of you uh, is more familiar with the web UI. This is the one of OpenShift, so I'm able to show you an overview of my cluster. And as you can see from the dashboard, there is uh, really zero resource uh, usage. And on the project, I already create one example project with, uh, as well, with Ansible and we can review the current inventory of resource allocation and I have a zero of everything, especially POD now is empty, so nothing is present on this project or namespace. How could I populate this? Well, there is a button create POD and as you can see there is the same exact type of YAML code that we already define in our Ansible editor. So drum roll, let's move on to the terminal and create this POD. So let me cancel this procedure and leave it with no POD available for this project. Welcome to my terminal. So now I'm able to connect to my Kubernetes cluster. In my case, I have a code-ready container running on my machine. As you can see, the status is running. And if I type start, I have uh, all the credentials available. So first of all, let me initialize my terminal with OpenShift command line tool. So let me copy and paste the CRC environment, in your case, could be different if there is a production customer uh, cluster. Now, OC command is available on my command line, could be also kube admin if you are familiar with Kubernetes. Now, I log in with kube admin user to my cluster, 
and let me switch to project example. Oh great, I was already on example. So I'm able to list the current pods with OC, get pods, same as Q's cube admin. And there is uh, no resource in this namespace. Let me run it the Ansible playbook under Kubernetes pod.yml. Here we go, the execution is actually super fast. We already got uh, changes status. And what happened if we run again the same code? Well, the POD was already created, so we got OK status. This property is called hidden potency. How we could uh, check it out if uh, the pod is, cur is uh, really running? Well, OC get pods now as uh, nginx. Uh, pod running. So great success, we were able to completely automate the POD generation. Is this magic? Let me double check also with the web UI. Back on the browser, let me log in again, kubeadmin and my password. No, I don't want to save it and already in the dashboard, as you can see on the right side, I'm able to see that uh, was pull, pulling image successfully uh, executed. All these type of events, oh no, is available only as a preview. Never mind, let's switch to the projects uh, example. Here we go. And as you can see, there is all the activity history that we are able to see that successfully pulled from registry, created container, started container, add network interface, and successfully assigned. Great! This is a great history. As you can see, step by step, what Kubernetes was performing behind the scene. So we basically shared only the recipe and Kubernetes cooked the result for us. Also, the number pod now is one, and if we click on it, we have more details of this Nginx container. So, as expected, is part of namespace. Uh, example was assigned also one IP address, yes, private one, because it's inside the cluster, and also there is one resource available of one. So everything seems ready to have fun. Also, let me double check the YAML definition that look like very similar to the one that we started with in the terminal, uh, in the ID. So as expected, there is uh, the name Nginx also the name of the image nginx uh, colon 1216 uh, as well as the port definition of 80. Yeah, there are more things like certificate and other advanced parameter, but all the basic things as are as we define it. No environmental variable and the logs, uh, if we click, uh, we are able to see that uh, there is a worker process running. So Nginx is really listening on this uh, POD. So great, uh, terminal is not available, uh, probably the image don't allow, don't allow this stuff. So great result, we have Nginx POD running inside my example project. Great, good job Ansible. Now you know how to create Kubernetes or OpenShift pod with Ansible. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, see us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot and have a great day. Let's automate more and have more fun. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video 
and so much fun.